Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of owning a rabbit. They are the third most surrendered pet to animal shelters, which means that many people buy rabbits not realizing what they're getting into. So today I want to explain exactly what it's like owning a rabbit by going through the top pros and cons. Another thing I want to bring up really quick before we start the video is that I discuss many elements of rabbit care in the video, but this is not a care guide and you should do a lot more research before deciding to bring a rabbit home. Let's hop right into the cons. If there is a scale of destructiveness for pets, I would have to say that dogs, horses, and maybe birds are at the top, and I don't know, maybe fish and shrimp are all the way at the bottom. Uh, I would say that rabbits are akin to cats and the fact that they will destroy things if they're left out, but it also depends on the cat and rabbit. Each one is different. Bunnies chew on things such as bars of their enclosure or baseboards if they are free roamed. And this is just because their teeth never stop growing throughout their lives, and it's a natural instinct for them. They need chew toys and lots of hay for them to constantly grind down their teeth. In addition, if you have a rug in their enclosure, or if you hang out with them in a really nice outfit, it may have a few bite marks in it the next day, and it's just important that you understand that bunnies are able to make messes, even though they are rather clean animals. This next con is what I think is the biggest misconception or myth about rabbits in their care. It is controversial, but in my opinion, if you want your rabbit to really thrive, you cannot keep it in a small cage or hutch. I think firstly, I should explain why they can't be kept outside. Our domestic rabbits are not the same as their wild ancestors, and outside they are exposed to predators, drastic temperature changes, they will get fat and lose muscle if they cannot run around, and will suffer emotionally if they are kept by themselves. This is why, in my opinion, domestic rabbits cannot be kept in a small space. They aren't built to stay contained in a hutch for their whole lives and are constructed to run. Because of this, you should never keep your bunny in anything smaller than an exercise pen. But even if they do live in an exercise pen, they should be allowed to run around for at least four hours a day for a healthy and strong rabbit. Our rabbits are in an exercise pen that is attached to a cage, but we just have the cage merely as like a home base, I would say. But it actually extends the size of the exercise pen, so overall it's pretty good for them. When cared for correctly, bunnies are not cheap. There are a lot of monthly costs, which include everything from hay, pellets, bedding, small amounts of treats, and weekly greens. You will need to be able to pay for vet bills as well. They may be once a year or twice a year, depending on the age of your rabbit and their overall health. I remember when we first got our rabbits, we take very good care of all the costs we spend on our animals, and we own a budgie, and it's funny because the initial cost that we spent just to get the rabbits was more than we'd ever spent on our pair in its entire life. So I think it's just important to understand that they aren't cheap and that you will need to be able to spend a lot of money on them if you want them to be happy in captivity. Bunnies should be groomed daily. They have a lot of fur and if they ingest too much, it won't be good for them. You will need to be able to set aside anywhere from like 30 minutes or more or less based on whether they're shedding or based on, you know, how they're feeling to groom your bunnies. It usually takes me a long time to groom them, and neither of my bunnies enjoy it, but I do know that afterward that they won't have as much loose fur and they won't be ingesting any extra, which makes me feel much happier. Now, this next point is very important and is what I think to be one of the biggest reasons as to why so many bunnies are surrendered. Rabbits do not stay small forever. As babies, they are small, but we get remarkably big based on their species. Even though Netherland dwarves and Holland lops don't get very big as adults, they will still be bigger than they were as babies. I think this is more of a misconception than a con. Uh, at least for me, I wasn't entirely aware of this when I got rabbits, but I don't mind. I think that some people would mind, but very few rabbits enjoy snuggling. Uh, I know that rabbits look so cute, and it just seems like those little balls of fluff demand the petting attention, but they really don't. In the wild, they are prey animals, and the moment they are picked off of the ground, they may start to feel uncomfortable. Uh, some rabbits are an exception to this point, but not many are. It's just natural for them to not enjoy being picked up and handled and pet. Uh, if you pick up a rabbit and it lets you pet, pet it and so forth, it is more likely that it's just scared and isn't fighting back. Uh, learn about rabbit body language and see if it actually enjoys being pet or if it's just scared. I'll link an article in the description talking about rabbit body language. 
Now this next number may shock people, but rabbits live 10 plus years when given the proper care. This is a very long commitment and it will spend a huge chunk of your life with you. If you are unable to give your rabbit a 10 plus year lifespan with you, then you probably shouldn't get a rabbit. I would recommend something more like a hamster, perhaps a gerbil or a mouse that lives more like two to three years and something that you could look after its entire lifespan. I'm just saying this because if you're 15 right now, by the time your rabbit p passes away, it'll be you'll be 25, which basically means that you've gone through college and you might not be able to take your rabbit with you through something like that. So it's important to understand where you plan on going in the future and to see if you'll be able to make your commitment to that animal. Now the next thing I want to point out is that rabbits are not beginner pets in my opinion. It takes me at least 30 minutes a night to take care of the, my bunny's cage or like exercise pen as le and another additional 30 minutes of grooming and then I like to supervise them for part of their four hours of runtime outside of their enclosure. They take a lot of time out of my day and are complicated, emotional, and intelligent creatures. They are extremely smart and deserve a lot of your time and should never be shoved in a tiny cage or hutch and forgotten about. Now this is my final point. If you plan on getting a rabbit, you ha you must get two. Now there's always special cases, but rabbits are extremely social beings and if you have a single bunny, it may go through emotional suffering as a result unless you're able to spend a lot of time with your animal. Unless you have a special situation, I think that two bunnies is always better. YouTubers such as Lennon the Bunny and Benny the Bunny have single bunnies and I believe that they do a fantastic job socializing their animals, but you can also see that their lives and just daily routines are built around their rabbits. I'll link their channels in the description down below. Do lots of research and make sure your bunny will actually benefit being alone and make sure you have enough time to spend with it. Now I know all these cons may sound rather harsh, but rabbits are the third most surrendered animals to animal shelters. This just goes to show that they are often bought through impulse and are a lot more work than people expect them to be. Rabbits don't often enjoy being picked up in the way your cat or a dog might, and the cost is a lot to take care of. If you want your rabbits to thrive, you cannot leave it outside or in a hutch with a bowl of pellets and water. I hope this highlights some of the hardest parts of owning a rabbit, but now I'm going to move right into the pros. I know there seems like a lot of negative things, but if the pros really outweigh the cons for you, then a rabbit might just be the right animal for you. Nextly, let's discuss the pros of owning rabbits. Rabbits are extremely intelligent. I love making my rabbits toys, and it's amazing to see them play with them. They can be taught tricks and even clicker trained. They are always curious about new things, and while they may be nervous at first, are always willing to investigate. Another thing is that I found that bunnies have big personalities. My bunny Rusty tends to be pretty timid, but he's very smart. But my brother's bunny Stormy is extremely spunky. He runs around like he's the king of the house, and it's amazing to see him pinky around the room. Now, this is one of the biggest pros in my opinion. Rabbits keep themselves extremely clean, and they themselves don't have a smell. Whether the earth pan may smell, the rabbits themselves are completely odorless unless they are currently being given improper care or are sick. In addition to not having a smell, rabbits can be very easily trained to use their litter pan. It took me only like a week or two for my rabbits to start using their litter pan and now they very rarely go to the bathroom anywhere else. Bunnies are extremely caring and sweet. My family's two bunnies just love each other to death. I walk into their room and see them just flopped out on the floor grooming each other. Once in a while, they even let me sneak in and groom them too. And when your bunny is completely bonded to you, it might come up and lick you as it tries to groom you. My bunny Rusty's only done this a few times just because he's very timid and takes him a long time to get settled down. And my final pro is the most important of all, and it's that they're absolutely adorable. Now I know this is why many people impulse buy rabbits, but you can still appreciate their cuteness after doing all of your research and understanding the cons. I will never stop smiling when I see my little bundles of fur bounding over to me to check out what I'm doing. Now I know that the pros list is rather short, but as I said, if the pros outweigh the cons for you, maybe the rabbit is the right animal for you. Make sure you do all of your research, however, to ensure that you are know what you're getting into when you get a bunny. Rabbits are surprising creatures, and every day I'm amazed by their kindness and ability to just absolutely love you, whoever you are. It's funny how animals see no limits in love, but we as humans can. Perhaps that should be another pro on my list. Your rabbits will teach you a lot of positive things during the amazing time that you have with them, so don't waste a moment of it, and your rabbit won't either.
Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I thought it was a lot of fun to put together and if you'd like to see another video like this one soon, please feel free to let me know. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel or at the very least liked the video. See you next week!